Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over the workspace options in Creative and how you can use that to your advantage. So in the upper right hand corner, right here, this little box icon, that's going to change your workspace. And your workspace is basically everything you're seeing on the screen. Your tools, your, right here, your advanced layer selector, layers, brush presets, all that other stuff that you have over here if you've customized it like I have. And depending on what you're doing, you may want that changed. So we are going to go over animation today. That's going to be a separate video because that's a very big change that Krita has done. And I would like to get that its own dedicated video because I think it'll be much more worth it than me just running through it. But just to give it a look, we're going to just click on animation so we can see how that changes your workspace. Obviously, this is not an animation file, so I'm not going to really worry about how any of this is working. But just so you can see, I have my layers to match my layers up here. So if I want to animate on one of them, they can be there. So that's just a quick look at the animation workspace. Then we have Big Paint. So what this is going to do is going to make our advanced color selector giant. That's pretty much it. It just kind of maximizes the space over here for that. We have Big Paint 2. So it brings all of your color options over here. You have your palette. Uh, you can change this to a different palette here. You have your color selector, specific color selector, your brushes over here, tool options, layer, composite. It's just completely different. And this is definitely going to be more for if you are doing more advanced coloring maybe, or maybe you just like this layout. Maybe it works for you. Maybe it's more comfortable. Everyone's different. <laughs> now we have Big Vector. Big Vector doesn't really have too much of a difference that I can see. Um, there's no major changes. There's an undo history that gets added here. So if you're doing a lot of vector work, that would probably be helpful, especially when you're using all the vector tools and stuff like that. Then we have the default, which is what it looks like when you are installing Creative for the first time. So you, as you can see, you have your tool options up here and your color selector is small. And you don't have the other color selector um, available to you. You have Krita for kids, and I believe this is new. I haven't, I don't recall seeing this before. So this is meant for kids. So you can record what you're doing, which is pretty cool, which is a new feature in Krita, by the way, which we'll go over in another video. You have your bit brushes here. They're nice and big. You can see what you're doing, get all of your colors, and you have different um, palettes you can choose from. So you can click on this icon and choose them here. Then you can pick different colors here as well. You have your basic color selector, or the advanced one, whatever you want to call it. It's advanced technically, but I'm sure for a kid this looks pretty easy to pick a color with, right? And then you have your workspace. It's very simple. Everything to your tool options are off to the side here. And for your kid getting started in Krita, it's probably not the primary focus. So it's, you know, makes the most important stuff bigger for you, which are your brushes and your colors. You have minimal. So this is a touch docker and I went over this in a video probably a year or two, probably two years ago now. And this is more for if you have a tablet, but if you don't care to use anything um, with your tablet pen or anything like that, and by, um, that's fine. You can use these shortcuts. So you can change the color here. As you can see, it's changing the area on the advanced color selector. You can rotate your image, reset it or zoom in, open, save, open, oh, do, new document, save, and all that fun stuff. And save as. So you have that option. Uh, these two are my, um, Workspaces. I don't know why I have two. Wait a second. Here, I think I was messing with it around with it. So small vector is kind of like the big vector. The color stuff is nice and big. You can see everything. You have the tool options here. Don't have any brushes showing because we're doing vector stuff. Storyboarding is also new. That is new to Creative 5 and exclusive to it. So maybe you don't have Creative 5 yet, make sure you download it. We'll go over this in another video as well. But this is the basic uh, storyboard canvas outline. 
as you can see in your storyboard here with comments. I'm excited to get into that. We have visual effects paint. So this is going to focus on if you're doing specific color work in your art or something that needs a lot of effects. This is kind of um, what you would you might use or might like. You have your um, LUT management here. So color focus. You have your advanced color selector and the specific one here. Again, making sure you have what you need for that uh, effects. We have your tool options, which is necessary. Your brushes, layers, composition, and undo history. And then workspace one. This is just another another option I have for my own. All right, so we're gonna put my workspace back. And if you want to make your own workspace, go ahead, move things around. Don't worry about, like if you don't like this advanced color selector, you can, or over there, you can put it over here. We'll just kind of move things around here. We'll put the overview, drag it here, and we'll make life difficult for ourselves. Oh, there we go. Let's click on these boxes to take it off. I didn't have it locked. We'll just put that there to make it interesting. This is my brush preset history, meaning these are the brushes I've been using for the past session of Krita before I close it. So we'll pretend this is a workspace that I enjoy. We're going to say I love this and we're just going to hit save. So if I, where is it? There it is. I love this. So we're going to create it for kids and then go back to I love this. That's my workspace I just saved. And if I don't want it anymore, I can just click on delete. And we're going to delete that one. Uh, wait. Nope, we're going to delete this one because I don't want that anymore. It's a duplicate on my part. And we're going to delete that one. So there are two different window layout types. So if you if you have two screens, it can automatically adjust that for you. It does load kind of funny, and I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> I don't use two screens in Krita, mainly because it's more difficult and I lose a lot of workspace on my tablet when I do that. Um, if you're on your laptop, it can kind of shrink everything down for you, which is also helpful. I haven't had that issue personally either but again use what you're comfortable with that's pretty much it for the workspaces we'll go over um, importing resources and everything like that in another video as well because that has also changed in Krita like I said in the last video I'm just trying to give you a little bit of information at once because so much has changed within Krita hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions about the workspaces or anything else within Creative 5 that I haven't covered yet, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them or mark them off as something to talk about in a video in the future if I haven't marked it off already. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.